Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a flip through of one of my completed inserts in here. Um, if you want to watch a non-chatty version, I also uploaded that one too, so I'll leave that link down below. So let's get started. This is my, I don't know if you can tell, this is the olive version of my, of the Traveler's Notebook. Looks a little bit brown, but it's olive. Okay. So as you can see, this insert took almost a year to complete. <laughs> I took a really big break because I was planning a, uh, my wedding. So that kind of uh, put journaling on hold for me, but I didn't want to waste the insert, so I just finished it off last year, or the beginning of this year. So this first page is nothing. I just taped in the, the inserts you get from, the, the labels you get from the inserts. I always leave the first page of notebooks blank. I don't know if you guys see that, but I don't know why I never write anything on this page. So this one was about there. Come about BTS's comeback. So I had to do a spread on that. So I printed out different pictures of their their concept photos. I have their playlist here. In this spread, this is actually the section right here. I actually got from from Alice. Um, I ordered some stickers from her, so this is what was on her envelope. This was a collab I did, and we were collabing about what we did uh, architecture, I think. Architect, architecture, architecture. And this is like different buildings that I would love to go see one day. The Coliseum, Notre Dame. And this spread has a lot of Happy Mail stuff in it. Um, this is from Rain, Touch of Paint. I ordered stickers from her too. This is from Sharina Softly Studio. I think this just this page just has a lot of text and feelings. Oh, let's get rid of that. Uh, this was another collab I did. It was with Nayeli. And I think we decided to do our favorite season. Um, I had a debate on whether I wanted to do fall or spring, but I guess spring won this time around because I was really into, it was spring at the time. I was really into flowers and my birthday's in the spring, so. That I decided to choose, even though I love fall too. Ah, this spread was about the concert I went to. I went to the Rose Bowl for BTS, of course. Um, this was the ticket, and these actually, these things are actually um, confetti that they like blew out into the air at the end of the concert. So of course everyone was like picking up all this stuff on the ground. Um, and this was the wristband they gave us since we had floor seats. Nothing. 
nothing special here, just the regular stuff. Uh, this is actually a, uh, a tag from a tent that we bought from the North Face. Yeah. Me and my husband are really into um, going camping. I wouldn't say we're like serious outdoor people, but we like to camp and do outdoorsy things. So I bought a new tent, so I put that in there. And this, this stamp is actually at, from Zion. We went camping there and like, it was like a, for my birthday. And it was really cool because they had, um, at their gift shop, they had, I guess every national park has like a stamping uh, station. <laughs> so they had a whole bunch of different stamps. I think I have, um, I have a lot more somewhere, but this is the one I put in here. And since it was like on my birthday, I wanted to put that there. This is more happy mail from Hannah and her shop, Paper Hands. This was from the, that's her writing. This was from the uh, packaging. And these are her stickers, these puzzle pieces. And this was more happy mail from Savvy Sailor Paper Studio. Her name is Jennifer and she, if you go to her Instagram, she makes really nice, just like paper bundles and paper packs. So if you DM her, um, you know, she'll ask you questions about like what kind of theme you want or color scheme or whatever. And then she puts like a custom bundle for you. It's very nice. A lot of my papers in here are actually from that bundle. Um, this was another stamp from that, the National Park, Zion. This is really cool. And this, this was a little envelope pocket thing that was inspired by James. Um, I meant to write something in here, <laughs> but I guess I didn't. Maybe I'll just use this for something else, but that's what that was for. This is just regular journaling. More stuff. This was when I took this big break. So this was from July. And then and then it went all the way to December. <laughs> so it was almost half of the year. So sad. But I got back into it, so this is my first spread after that break. I was like nervous because I didn't know whether it was going to be hard for me to do it again, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I take forever to do one spread and I've taped one thing down on the page and it took me 20 minutes. So, but it felt pretty fun to do this again. Just, I got this washi tape from my one of my friends. He took a, he took a trip to... Portland and he brought home some kitty washi tape for me. That's so cute. And this is some more journaling, regular journaling stuff. I like this page because it has like greens in it. And this was this is a poem from Kyla. She journals as well, and she writes poetry, so some of her stuff is really good, so I intend to put more of her poems in my journal. And this was from the stationery selection. Um, this was like the, my first order. I guess it wasn't really a subscription box because I ordered the, the tear-off calendar but it was an order from her and she put this postcard in there. It's really nice. 
And then I put like the stickers that came with the order and the washi tape. And this was the stamps that were on the package. More journaling. This heart I actually didn't fold myself. It was from the um, that paper bundle from Jennifer. I used to know how to fold these. I don't remember anymore. JK. And this was from a stationary shopping. I wouldn't say a shopping spree, but we went shop. Me and my best friend went shopping. Um, she's really into journaling and stationary like I am and we have like a lot of the same interests so um, for Christmas I decided she came up to visit me because we actually live a little far away from each other but she she came up to visit me and I made her these coupons saying okay I'll take you shopping at these stationary places over here so we went to Maido and that's it's like a really small one here we don't have big stationary uh, this big stationary uh, stores at least not this one it's big it's like actually in a uh, Mitsua so it's like in a grocery store and then this one M Lovewell it's a little station shop they also have a lot of workshops and stuff too so if you're in Southern California you should check these places out and of course we went shopping and bought all this stuff and we had to stop each other from buying too many things it was fun though. And then this, yeah, so this was the first spread of the new year. And I put a picture of me and my husband on our wedding day. Because I wanted to put more personal things in here, but as you, as you will see soon, this is probably the only personal picture I have in here. Um, I think I decided to put more personal things in a different insert because this one is, you know, for fun and I'll like post more of these pictures online. Um, so this is a picture of me and my husband and that's not my husband, <laughs> it's RM. And this is from that tear off calendar from the stationery selection. So I was using this. And this was actually from my first box, official box of the stationery selection. Um, this was actually not the subscription box because uh, Mitz, the, the gal who does stationery selection, she put the August box um, up for sale again because it was so popular. And I really, really, when I saw the August box, I needed it because... This was in it. This was like my favorite item. I'm obsessed with pouches. Maybe I'll do like what's in my, not just one what's in my pouch, but what's in my pouches video. <laughs> but I really, really like this color and the superior labor makes really nice things. So I wanted to get my hands on this. So this was part of the August box. This is another journal spread. More pictures of the boys. This was a horizontal spread. Um, I realized I didn't have any horizontal spreads in here, so toward the end of this, I was like, oh, I should do one. So here's that. I kind of like writing this way because my hand doesn't fall off the page here so it was pretty even but you know good and bad about both sides this cute envelope was actually from um my husband's cousin and his wife i guess they're my cousins now um but it's they gave this envelope to us and like a little note card as like our wedding gift and it was so cute I had to put it in here it has little 
Pikachus. This is actually one of my favorite pictures of J-Hope and I had to put this as my, um, my wallpaper on my phone. <laughs> I love the colors in this. And this was, oh, this was about, I finally, I haven't finished it yet, but I finally started the Bon Voyage season four for BTS. And I just like, I always like, like watching Bon Voyage because it's like they're just being themselves and doing regular people things and camping because I love camping so I like seeing them like do all that stuff. So that was about that. Good gin and all the ramen. This was, this was another picture from the Bon Voyage and I don't know if you guys watched it yet but RM and V were at looking at the moon and of course RM has to spew some like words out and he like made a poem called Moon Road so I had to like write it down here because they were looking at the moon it was very very pretty and this was I think I wanted to write a whole bunch of stuff in like one spread so I decorated minimal decoration on here and this is stuff I got from the stationery selection box. And this was the spread I did when Black Swan came out. I think this really meant a lot to me because I... I don't know if I would call myself a dancer anymore, but I danced growing up and I danced throughout high school, throughout college, I was a dance minor. And I even, if you guys saw the video, it's actually like a dance company. So it really meant a lot to me that they were like, as musical artists, they were reaching out to different types of artists and different types of artistry. And dance was like really close to my heart. So this really meant a lot. It was like, I really, really liked it. And then when I saw the choreography to it, oh man, I died. <laughs> it was so good. Anyway, these pictures actually aren't from, I don't know when they were from actually. Probably an award show, but anyways, moving on. Oh, this I had a lot of feelings because it was the weekend of the Grammys, but also, um, the news about Kobe came out and it was really sad but it was a bittersweet weekend because even though the sad news came out you know that's when BTS performed at the Grammys so good and bad and I guess that was it of course I don't decorate the last page just like the first page <laughs> but anyways thanks for watching and joining my flip through um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!